Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Coming um, to E3's Just Act Go Vote performance. Um, I am Margie Wilcox. I'm the program director here at E3, um, and a, I'm a proud Philadelphia voter. And I've worn my red, white, and blue to match all of the decorations we have in the center today. Um, just to make sure we all know that today we're able to put this on because we received a grant from an organization called Teaching Tolerance. Um, so we want to thank them for recognizing the voice that young people can have around voter engagement, voter education, voter registration. Um, after, the form after the performance, did everyone get raffle tickets? Yes. yes. Perfect. We're going to pull the raffles after the performance. So please stick around the whole performance for those. And there will be light refreshments after that out in the front also. Um, if you are here and you are not registered to vote and you would like to register for, to vote, we have all of our computers set up with all of the voter registration websites, so we can do all of that after the performance with you as well. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We're going to try that again. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's so nice to see all of you. I'm Lisa Jo Epstein, and I'm the executive and artistic director of Just Act. And I want to thank Miss Margie and Miss Anne. Uh, Ms. Kai and Mr. Allen and Mr. Waters, who's not able to be with us today. No, he's, he's here. Okay. Um, who have enabled us to work with an incredible group of the students here. And we're super excited to share this creation with you. We had three days of training. That's it for this amazing piece that you're about to see. So what we're sharing with you is a piece called Just Act, Go Vote. And... The reason that we're doing this piece is because Just Act exists to use theater in a way that sparks dialogue and conversation about some of the stuff that we face every day, that we don't like to talk about, that brings up conflict <laughs> and gets people all frustrated, right? And say, you know what? We have an opportunity here to make a difference. And so I'm going to ask you, when you, how many of you have seen a play? So, what is a spectator? Somebody, one at a time, what's a spectator? Someone who watches the performance. Someone who watches the performance. Others of you who raised hands, what's a spectator? I got a movie or a play, what's a spectator? I saw a whole bunch of hands. Somebody who watches the performance. Somebody who watches the performance. Who sits in the audience. Who sits in the audience, exactly. So somebody who watches and sits. Today, you have the opportunity to be this. Oh. A spect actor. So what's different about a spect actor from a spectator? So you said a spectator is somebody who watches, and you're somebody who said somebody who watches and sits in your seats. A spect actor has the responsibility to act on conflicts that they see in the theater piece that you are about to see. The way that this shows up is the following. The actors are going to do the whole play that they created that's all around issues that they themselves have faced with their peers about talking about voting and registration and some of the excuses and obstacles that they face to convincing their friends to vote. You, while you're sitting there, you have the responsibility to think about, now if I was trying to talk to my friend about this, what would I say differently? And you're supposed to tuck that into your head as you watch the play and think about different actions that you might take. Were you in the position of our lead character whose name is Rock the Vote? All right, so what you have an opportunity to do is practice responses I'm breaking up lots of words here. Spectator to a spect actor. The word responsibility into response ability. See, we have an opportunity to like see that every time we do something, it is an action. And it is constructed. And you get the chance to practice your ability to take different action and make a more positive outcome result from it. Okay, so is that clear? 
right? Spectator becomes a spect actor. A spect actor gets the chance to actually say stop in the middle of a scene if you got an idea for Rock the Voter, and then you get to play and improvise different ideas for what the Rock the Voter character can do. And we're going to see what happens. All right? So you've got the opportunity to practice your ability to respond in new ways. Okay? Because this is a moment in time that we need radical creativity. Because so much stuff is coming our way that it's a lot to juggle. And that's where we're like, oh, I can flex the muscle of my imagination and try out something that maybe I wouldn't normally do, but I can try it now. And this is the place to practice. So the rules of the road are the following. The actors are going to do their play. At the end of it, we're going to have a conversation about what did you see, who are these characters, what happened, and then they're going to rewind and do the whole play again. And in that second time, you have an opportunity to like offer your ideas about how to change the cycle that these characters are really stuck in and see if you can make a difference. Practice actions to make a difference. So without further ado, I'm going to start the play. It's just like, it's, I've been so stressed out. Oh. Let me tell you how I brought me to my dad and my uncle's attention that I wanted to register to vote and make a change. And they basically shrugged me off. And you know, it was like a waste of time. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. So you don't, you're not interested in voting or registering? No more. They don't pay me no more. It was eight. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> At all. registered to vote, being as though this is my first time, and they just shrugged me off, and you know, she has no idea, because <laughs> she said her parents don't really listen to her or whatever, don't you guys, what do you guys have to say about that, are you interested in registering? See, there you go, I don't, <laughs> fam, who votes? Nobody. Not me? No, not. Really? So you guys don't care? No. No? It's no. not affecting you? I don't even know nothing about it. Why would I care? No, you don't know nothing about it. That's just a part of my daily schedule, you know what I'm saying? Thank you, girl. We should care about voting because we can make a change. That, that kind of thinking right there is the re Do you vote? <laughs> hey, do you vote? vote? Is you registered? Hell no. Why not? Can't okay, do that. <laughs> That's, That's for all people, fam. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It rose apart. <laughs> Stop! Oh, cool. Oh. Here you go. Take your phone. What's going on? They're frustrating me. I'm bringing it to their attention that you know we should get registered, and they just, just like my dad and my uncle did, they brushing me off. They think it's a joke. They don't care because they feel as though it doesn't personally affect them. I mean that's pretty corny, but at the same time, I will say that there's something to be said for not voting. Because I mean, <clears throat> if you really think about it. There's like a whole added layer in this country to voter suppression, like that comes not just from the government but also from the media and from both sides. You know, all parties involved are just trying to confuse information. So I don't even know, like, what I want to do. Like, if I were to get to the voting booth, what am I gonna do? Are like, who am I gonna vote for? Are you registered? No. So how am I gonna get to the voting booth without registering? Well, I'm not gonna do that in the first place, though, because like. There's so much effort involved to like make it so that I don't know who to vote for in the first place, so why would I even bother researching who to vote for? Listen, when it's just like, I'm not gonna find the answer. I'm just saying you're confused. And don't even get me started on fake news. This is not important to you. I don't know. Oh my God. I'm sorry. 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 Okay, so in the first scene, where's Mr. Allen and um, what happened in the very first scene when Rock the Voter was trying to talk to her dad and her uncle? What happened? What did you see happen? He didn't listen. Did either of them listen? No. No? He didn't care? No, he didn't care. And how did that show up that he didn't care? Not a lot. 
<laughs> he was nonchalant. He shrugged it off. Go back, back there. What are you, what are you gonna say? They thought it was weird. Why should you vote? They didn't care. And a waste of their time. How did that make Rock the Vote feel? She was frustrated. She was frustrated. What did she try to do to convince them? So she just tried to tell them to go. Yeah, say that again. It'll change your life? Did they hear that? No. No. Okay. And so then. What happened next? So Rock the Voter went to E3. <laughs> and who did she meet there? Her friends. Her friends, yeah? Who said her friends? Her friends. And who were her friends? Raise your hand, friends. Stand up, friends. Thing one and thing two. Okay, so um, the two friends, thing one and thing two, what, what was their story? Mr. John? They discouraged. It just said it didn't matter. It said so it didn't matter. The vote didn't matter. Mm-hmm. All right, who said that back there? Okay. <laughs> right, so why should they vote? Because black people don't vote. It doesn't matter. Look at our country. What was the, um, why was it important that you said their names thing one and thing two? Because they said the same things as each other. Right. So we got a little peer pressure here, right? So we're not gonna, we're gonna like stick with the, the click, right? Because we don't want to look uncool. What other friends were there? I D K. I don't know. What about I don't know? What did you? What did? What was that character about? I don't know. She really didn't have like an opinion on it. Okay, she didn't have an opinion on it. Right? What else did I don't know represent? <laughs> what else? Confused, yeah. You said was that you back there saying it? That was Mike. <laughs> okay, so Mike, so what how did that what did that look like? His name is. Oh, okay. You said confused. You said confused? Yeah. I'm right. I'm lost. Yeah, you're confused, right? Like you're confused. Okay. He said, he said, he said that. Oh my God. Okay, so I don't know was also a little confused. Confused about what? About voting? About Rock the Voter's passion for voting? For other things? Just in general, where's lunch? Right? Okay, and then we met the character whose actual name was confused. What did this character represent? She was stuck in between the yeah. vote whether she should vote or not. She was like confused about the Democratic Party and the Republican kind of. Okay, so she was a little on the fence. Like she was confused about where, who should I vote for, and what about all this information that I'm getting like washed with from the media? And her final line was what? Who, who heard it? Fake news. Right? So like the inundation of fake news really makes it quite confusing as to figure out where should I land, the t where does the truth land, right? And what about all the other, so we had the two waves come in, and then suddenly what happened in the room to rock the vote? Chaos. Chaos. Right? Rock the vote, did rock the vote have a chance no. to convince anybody? Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're, who's got an idea for how Rock the Vote can face your friends? Who's got an idea? Anybody? Right there. Tell them they say I'm real stupid while they're in school. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So put them in their place. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Your idea? She could say like our ancestors to make it Come on up. Yeah. Corinda. Okay. So Corinda. You're going to remind thing one, thing two, and I don't know about about their ancestors and what it took to get the vote. And three, two, one, scene. Like, we, our ancestors sacrificed a lot of things. Like, they sacrificed their marches, got beat up. And they kept being told no until they was told yes. So, you know, we should take that into the advantage and go out and vote because they didn't have the opportunity. They were a lot for us to be able to vote. So 
Man, I, I, I understand you, but like on some real stuff, we ain't back in that town. This ain't the 1960s or whatever, you know? It's 2000, we got Cheeto in the building. But they all back just so we could go. Listen, man, we ain't about that life. We gotta, you know, okay? gotta appreciate my I got a hair appointment at four. Yes, girl. Okay? That's what's important. I'm hungry about me. I'm tired. She said, I'm hungry about me, and I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> Tell you the truth. I just seen all of that on Google. That's what's wrong with us, man, because we're not using everything to advantage. We're not using our opportunity. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What time is it? Amy's supposed to be going to lunch or something. Girl, you always hungry. I'm talking about both of y'all. need to go vote and use all of y'all out of advantage because I'm not going to talk about it. Come on, Rocky. Y'all going to vote because y'all going to vote for that. I look like they accept it as a truth. But they're not trying to hear it because it's not really affecting their everyday life. So it's kind of like old news. Like she said, it's fake news, but that's old news because we don't live that anymore. Yeah. So that's old news. That's what old people do. Yeah. How did it? How did it feel to try this out? I mean, it was no. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> that was just, that was just, that was just, I was really if it was really like if I was really talking to my friends about voting, I was just saying what I was really yeah. doing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was really like if she didn't have an argument. Can we all listen up? She didn't have an argument for you. She was going to argue no. She was arguing no way she was going to force them to vote. She said, don't want to say it. I don't know what she took. I don't know what she took. Does somebody have an idea for how to face the fake news person? Huh. Who's the fake news person? Me. Right in. Okay, but you gotta come on up. Alright, come on. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep the you know, you're all gonna stay up here and you're Fred, you're gonna stand right here. All right, so before we start, y'all all going to agree with me. So they actually, they each got their own mind. They going to have my mind. Okay, so are you ready, confused? And drummer? Hard and hard. So I tried to tell them how we should vote because our ancestors made it so that we could. Instead of getting discouraged, they kept voting. I mean, that's a completely valid point, and I agree with you, you know. They kind of party the way they was coming back at you. But at the same time, I feel like they got a point. Like, it's so much confusion going on from so the media, from the about? government. What do you mean, what am I confused about? There is an orchestrated yeah, effort that is... understand. Listen, first, before you help me understand, you gotta hear my side. <laughs> you know, there is an orchestrated effort in this country that has been going back several hundred years to the time that you're talking about. It's a hidden voter suppression system. Such as? The government is trying to confuse us so that we're not paying attention to what is really going on. So that we don't focus on the Supreme Court and who gets in it. But so that we don't focus them, on... for them too, though. No, I don't. Yes, I stopped oh, no. voting because you know why? what? Because you know what? I'm so tired of all these different parties and all these different elements trying to tell me and everybody around me who to vote for and who not to vote for. And like it's all these different conflicting... Um, sources of information going at each other all the time, 24-7, on the news, on Saturday Night Live. Uh, people got opinions that don't even matter getting thrown in there with with, with, with the facts, yeah. with the facts that you're talking about. So how is Forceful defense, and she probed. She kept making. She, she, she like a Malcolm X situation. To explain what she meant about being confused, she kept digging. Now, Khadija was probably uh, not probably was also real because for those who don't who are reluctant and don't want to do it, there's going to be more pushback mm. and more conversation. But Dre's determination <clears throat> to keep plowing through was strong. That, that was a strong. And that determination came through because Dre was very specific. Yes, and she kept challenging Khadija to explain what she meant about being confused. 
Right. What's confusing? Explain it. And what would you say Dre's tone of voice was? Assertive. Assertive? Determined. Determined? Uh, but so was Khadijah. Uh, that, that's why I said that was real. Because it's yeah. 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 And instead of resting in generalities about the need to vote, really like know your history, figure out what is what, <laughs> right? How did it feel, Dre, to try to talk to Confused here? I felt like I was about to get my head bite off. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I was in a cage with a pit bull. <laughs> yeah, but you stood strong. And what was it about? What was it about um, Confused? Um, their actions. Like, how made you feel that way? Cause like she kept saying she was confused, but when I said to explain, it was like it wasn't specifics. Like she was just confused about everything. Mm -hmm. Like it, it was just voting period. It wasn't like like she didn't go back to the Republicans and the Democrats, which I could have easily came back at. Like it wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Like at all. That's mm -hmm. like, <laughs> job hard. Yeah. And so, right. how many people know people who are like totally confused by everything that is being thrown at them right now? Raise your hand. I just met one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 what what you say? Say? Yeah. And so it's a very difficult <laughs> thing. <laughs> Actually, I want a confused sign. Okay. So, <laughs> so what Greg was saying about I thought it was going to be easier. Oh, it's really hard to oh. face. That wall of confusion. That's why I said it's real. Mm -hmm. both to share some final words before we go to festivities. Oh, okay. If we just act and go vote, we can make a difference. Fact: only 80% of Americans are registered to vote. If we just act and go vote, we can make a difference. Only 60% of the 80% of registered people actually vote. If we just act and go vote, we can make a difference. Fact. In the last presidential election, only half of Americans between 18 and 35 voted. If we just act and go vote, we can make a difference. Fact. Turnout is even worse in midterm elections. In Philadelphia, only 24% vote at elections for mayor. If we just act and go vote, we can make a difference. Fact. When George Bush beat Al Gore for president, he won by less than 600 votes. If we just act and go vote, we can make a difference. Fact, if young voters exercise their power at the ballot, ballot box, they have the power to change the outcome of elections. If we just act and go vote, we can make a difference. Fact, there are 20,000 18 year olds in Philly. If they all show up to vote, that's a very loud voice. If we just act and go vote, we can make a difference. It is a fact that by 2020, the next presidential election, 18 to 29 year olds will be 40% of the voting population. That is an awesome amount of power. And with, and with that being said, you guys, go vote. Yeah, no. Yes, we're going to get you registered and vote, but we're also going to do a call and response. That's right. Now, I want to hear the... You know. Okay? So I'm going to give you I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you the words and you guys repeat after me, okay? So ready? We're gonna do a song. Solid as a rock. Solid as a rock. Solid as a rock. Solid as a rock. Rooted as a tree. Rooted as a tree. Rooted as a tree. Rooted as a tree.